What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is my best friend, Hannah Chris. Hello YouTubers. We are in a long distance relationship. Yeah. Her husband also is in the minor leagues. We're both Rodan and Fields, both from Houston. You've probably seen her on my stuff. But today we're gonna do a get ready with me and my best friend. Last night here in San Fran at, uh, on our trip. On your. On my trip. Oh yeah, trip. it's my trip. I earned this trip. She earned it. She came back in January. She's here as a leader training all the Tra other leaders. Um, which, <laughs> training me. <laughs> which was amazing. She did incredible. We had like a cocktail party and dance party and nice dinner and everything tonight here at the hotel. So we're gonna get ready. Just took off all our makeup. She took a bath. I just took off my makeup and put a little bit of product plug. Our active hydration serum on, which Not really honestly focusing. makes makes makeup go on so incredibly. So I just yes. put that on. So we're just gonna get ready. And she's gonna blow dry her hair first. So here we go. <laughs> Listen up, yo. Three minutes till so we're supposed to be there. <laughs> That's so classic. Okay. Hey, you're right there. This would be about the time that we would send a text like, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Mm hmm. Be right down. Just have like a few more steps to do. <laughs> Almost ready. Jewelry with a white robe makes me feel rich. Iffy? Yeah. Oh, rich. Like it makes me like, like, you know, like a Kardashian. Or like yeah. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Do I look like Justin Bieber? Yeah. He does a... Oh, the noise. He hates that noise. I, I know. cannot. So, what should we talk about? How we met? How did we meet? We connected through Rodan and Fields. Because she was one of the first people my age that I connect that I like really connected with in the business. And I got on a FaceTime because I wanted to ask her questions about how she ran her business because she's been doing it longer and she's sickly successful. And <laughs> sickly, sickly. Sickly. Like it's disgusting. <sighs> oh, NARS. Creamy, radiant, whatever concealer. I use a uh, light one Chantilly. Love it under my eyes, it's super bright. And then I use the full cover Makeup Forever Creme de Camouflage Extreme, which is really great for covering acne scars. Which, when it comes to makeup, I really don't know a thing. So it's okay, just just tell me. I do use now. very minimal. Minimal. Mm -hmm. What I use is Running and Fields Radiant Defense, <laughs> which is amazing. I which use is it on amazing. Daily. I use SPF. it every day, but I also use it for night makeup because I don't really have like a night or day makeup. It's all the same for me. Yeah, just I very feel that. I mean, minimal. I rarely wear makeup as it is. So. And then my powder is actually. <laughs> Rodan and Fields Mineral Peptides. Which is also bomb. Which also gonna... has anti-aging peptides and Radiant Defense is- And SPF. Yeah. And Radiant Defense also has SPF, also does not clog your pores. Yeah. Also fights against environmental aggressors like dirt, wind. Which is actually, I was reading, there's a new magazine. I think I told you about it. I'll tell them. There's a new magazine that are not, it's not a new magazine. I recently discovered it. It's called New Beauty. And it's all about like the cutting edge technology and like products of skincare and like where we're headed. There's a whole article on SPF and how um, it's so important. And then also how environmental aggressors is actually what can age us too. So it's sun, but it's also all the like harsh chemicals oh, yeah. and just like toxins Dirt, wind, in the air. Things that just fly on your face from your air. Face, which vitamin C is really good for. So vitamin C is a really strong antioxidant you can use in a serum on your face to help reverse the environment and like protect yourself against the environmental protectors, which is actually found in our reverse regimen line, which is for sun damage and anti-aging and all of that. But for me, you know, the original blush <laughs> that everybody in the world uses. Is that orgasm? Yeah, I've used it since I was eighth grade when I started wearing makeup. Oh wow. Anyways, we got on a FaceTime call initially for me to just ask her a couple questions about the business and how she was working hers, and then it was like six hours later that we got off the phone. And the rest is history. You know what would be a hot topic? 
What? Distance, long distance. All right. We've both done it. Why don't about. you Why don't you give backstory on on you and Galley? Her husband's name is Galley, and he plays for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. And he's in Double A. So we currently live in Jackson, Tennessee, which is a city that is between Memphis and Nashville, kind of smack dab in the middle. And Zach's in Knoxville. And double A so, for the Cubs, so they're what y'all are about a few hours away? Four and a half to be exact. Yeah, I think about four and a half. It's different sides of Tennessee. Just we got our girls coming in here and um, ruining our video. So one, <laughs> one moment. Hi. We got a guest visitor. Oh, look, we, we have, have a Miss guest. Sammy. Welcome to our Get Ready With Us. This is Sammy. Sammy's already ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like thinking y'all are ready to go. Oh, whatever. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Yeah, here, we are ready. We're really late. What's going on? You guys aren't even close. Yeah, I am. I'm close, I promise. I'm, I'm seriously close. And you're I'm hair. just going to put down my hair and do this. <laughs> she said, and your hair. <laughs> no, I'm going to put this spray in it and do like a little test okay. toss of look. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We'll be quick. I promise. Well, I could just do like a low bun action. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. This is the first time I've ever middle parted my hair. Let me see. Kind of so it's really good. good. To like, you know, like curl it looks really good. Little, I do. It looks cute. I love it. Can you just go up close and show them how incredible your eyes are? It's sick. By lash hey, Sam, is it focused? Yeah, I really hope it is. And the it's lashes cool. are grown by Lash Boost. Lash Boost. We've been plugging all of our products the whole time because it's literally. Oh I'm actually goodness. like really loving this. I'll just stay here. <laughs> Till y'all are done. <laughs> Welcome to this the Sammy's Already Ready. Like, good quality. Wait, 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 wait. This is y'all, 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 y'all. Okay, bronzer wise, I've always used Hulu and it's always been orange on Hulu? me. Hulu? Hula? Hula. Hula. Hulu is how you watch shows and movies. <laughs> For bronzer, I've always used Hulu. Okay. There's the Hulu. Hula? Yeah. Hula. Right? And it's always been like orange, right? Because super pale. Yeah. I was doing some research. The Fenty Beauty bronzer in the India Sun. It's the lightest oh, bronzer they have. It is. Oh, and you're white like me. I so, yes. like, Yeah, I it am. It is a little darker. I'm pretty white. So I did the Laura Mercier and then I and then I do the medium peptides. Yeah, of course. course. Too. Well, well I darker. do the I do the light typically, but or I'll mix the two, but right now I got a little bit of tan. We we're setting up the the background on her and Galley cuz we were going to talk about long distance. Have you ever done long distance? No. Sammy and her husband. Sammy's 21. Hello, guys. Her and her husband have been together since sixth grade. Yep. And got engaged on graduation day, like high school graduation day. Not yep. college. Not college. Because what else do you do when you've been dating since sixth grade? Yeah. You can like, there's no other option. You get engaged on graduation day. Yeah, exactly. Yeehaw. So Hannah and her husband don't do distance anymore because she's traveling with him, with him now because they're married. They got married last year. Zach and I were in the wedding, which was iconic. So they don't do distance anymore, but she can definitely relate. What do you, you know, the question I get asked most is how do you get through it? What do you do to like distract yourself or to, how do you not dwell on the fact that y'all aren't together? Well, I feel like the most important thing is that you have to have your own goals and the things that you want to focus your time and energy on. And so instead of being negative during those times where, you know, you're going to a wedding and you're maybe alone or it's a friend's party and you know, your significant other can't be there with you and just those times where you your feel. birthday birthday oh yes mm -hmm. summer vacations because you know. and i were born a day a year and a day apart so our birthday i'm april 25th she's april 26th it's always during baseball season i've yeah. actually never spent a birthday without galley oh that's nice his or mine so i've always oh. made those trips happen oh, i'm happy for you so this is really great <laughs> I can't just speak on that one, but I would say focusing on yourself, having your own goals that you want to accomplish, whether it be like business, personal, and um, honestly, like filling a lot of your time with like fr family and friends is how you're going to get through it because you need to be around people who understand that like you may not always be in a good mood or you may not always, you know, be happy-go-lucky 24-7 when you're missing your significant other yeah. and having people who get it is a lot easier than being around people who don't quite understand. So right. filling your time with a lot of people who just get you and know you and love you. And there's really nothing anyone can say to make you feel better. No. So it's just, it's like, it's the people who will just kind of accept how you're feeling and like not press on it. Just they want to acknowledge it, but just yeah, yeah, yeah. They cheer you up. They act normal. You, 
Well, I just ate this. What are you using? Oh, the, is that yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Urban Decay All Night? All night. Wait, can I do this? Are you wearing this one? Mm, doesn't even work. Okay, well my makeup's done, so that was very simple. Okay. Let me get my lipstick. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, and that's what I always tell people, is having your own personal goals and things that you want to do to focus on. Like, oh, how I look at it is forced focus time on myself. Yes. And, like, I can't have Zach as a distraction. Like, he's not a distraction, but I'm saying, like, obviously, I my time would be spent with him doing things, going out, whatever, which is awesome. It's kind of, like, focus, like forced. Like, I, 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 I'm not going to sit there and dwell on it because it does nothing. It doesn't change the situation. And Zach's always been really good at that. It's, like, being, like, I want to know how you feel in any situation but if it can't be changed move on just don't yeah you can't just sit there and count all day yeah, exactly day. first off no one wants to hear that your friends your family it's not good for your own mental self so you have to make the best of it and do your thing and like carly said use that time to better yourself instead and, of yeah make yourself mad and it's kind of a cool opportunity obviously it's not gonna last forever and it hopefully god willing you're not in distance forever but think of it as like an, an a opportunity to learn more about how to keep your relationship afloat with great communication and being creative and watching a netflix show together or going to the same movie you know and being able to yeah. create conversations like that but also like yo i don't have any distractions i can just focus on like my self growth that's gro growth myself growth myself growth Gross. <laughs> Also, big advice that I got one time was that when you're long distance and you're, you know, constantly, you're talking on the phone all the time, right? Whether it be like texting all day throughout your day, time. FaceTiming, whatever. A lot of your time together is just pretty much the phone. So a piece of advice that I got that I think I always share with people if they ask any advice on long distance is that don't talk about your entire day just on text. Yeah. Of course, like, you know, talk throughout your day. <laughs> getting started. But don't feel like you have to, <laughs> don't feel like you have to say like, hey, what's up 24 seven? because then at the end of the day it doesn't really leave you much to share about your day and you feel as if it's just like crummy and you yeah. feel annoyed you feel annoyed and, because you don't feel like you're part of each other's you, lives you're talking constantly but you end up feeling more distant the times that zach and i have gotten into like a weird place have been when we are talking constantly and we're like dude what is this conversation it's like hey what's like tweets hey, it's like tweets. it's like seventh it's grade like tweets. dating it's just updates well, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, at heading, the field. Heading I'm heading to this, doing that, and it's like connecting and finding things. Zach and I love talking about future stuff, planning stuff, talking about fun things that you're going to yeah, do like what when you're together. Do want? Like silly things that you know that just kind of allow us to have different types of this conversations. This is so insightful because I have a lot of friends in long distance, and I don't know how to relate to them. So. Yeah, we'll send well, them this video. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to send them this video to watch, and they can learn you too. So I think mom. something that I used to do is like sending voice memos, talking voice about, voice. and I always had like my next trip planned to go see him before I leave him. So I wasn't like, Countdowns you know, I wasn't like hyperventilating in the airport because I'm like, okay, I'm going to see you in four weeks. And I would know the next date, which four weeks to some people probably sounds ridiculous. But four weeks to me sounds so short. Yeah, you have like crazy, like, so we for do, me and we Gally, do. I've never gone longer than four weeks. I think maybe five weeks was our longest without ever seeing each other. Zach and I's um, longest is five months, five or six months. Yeah. <laughs> Because it was, I'll tell you why, when he was in Eugene in Low A and I went out and visited him in Arizona for spring training and it was just like a tough time financially and Eugene has one of those really small airports that you fly into yep. and it was so expensive and so it wasn't feasible and we kept putting it off like, oh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out and then we never figured it out. Then off season came and I'm not joking, we went the entire the entire baseball season without seeing each other. So what is that? However many months that is. Yeah, it's from April till September. So yeah, I turn this thing on. I think you should just do a low bun. You do? Yeah. It's like my favorite hairstyle, honestly. Can I use one of your I think it's, ties? yeah, of course. I think it's sleek and cute. Color. Oh, I didn't bring my pa my hair paste. But anyway, so. Those are our best, best tips. Yeah, but countdowns are huge. Baseball life is crazy. And for those of you who aren't in the baseball life, everything is last minute. Everything, like people get traded, people get uh, released. There's so much that happens. You get told something one day and you're on a flight. Yeah, planning that really thing. is just in the thing. No, is that look okay? Yeah. A little, we can't plan anything. So even trips that we plan, we always book through Southwest. Mm -hmm. Baseball tips, because there's been many times where we have to cancel trips or change the flight because or he's change not- the location. Exactly, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. it changes location. It's crazy. It is crazy. All right, I'm ready. Ready? You look gorgeous. Doesn't really focus. 
It should. There it goes. This is me. Look at my lashes, guys. This is real. From Lash Boost, baby. Yeah, they look great. I've been using mine again. Great chatting with you. Really great. I hopefully it was. And we gotta go because we are so late. So Seriously. late. So late. What time is it? 6.20. We were supposed to be there at 6. So, signing off.